If you've worked in Blender, you've probably seen or heard about the Grease Pencil, which is one of the most unique tools that Blender offers, a 2D animation tool that lives inside a 3D software. But not everyone knows this. Maya actually had a similar tool for years, and it is called the Grease Pencil 2 by the way, but it never got much attention, until some recent updates in the last couple of years. So what does the Grease Pencil in Maya do, and how does it compare to its counterpart in Blender? The 2D drawing feature in Maya isn't new. It actually started as a third-party plugin more than a decade ago. Originally, it was created by Chris Zerbrig, and the plugin was called Blue Pencil. It was designed to let animators quickly sketch notes, timing arcs, thumbnails, and draw over directly in the viewport. It wasn't built for final animation. It was meant as a communication and planning tool. But eventually, Onodesk added its own Chris Pencil tool into Maya. This version was basic, with limited brushes, no layers, and no serious animation support. It existed as a simple annotation tool. Then in Maya 23, Autodesk decided to retire that implementation and integrate a new system under the name of Blue Pencil again. This new version was a reimagined and cleaned up version of the original plugin. And now it is officially part of Maya's toolset. But despite the updates, the tool's purpose hasn't changed much. Blue Pencil is designed for sketching on top of scenes, making up animations, reviewing poses, or communicating with a team. It is still not meant for polished 2D animations or illustrations. Its features include basic drawing tools, in addition to layer management, a timeline for frame-based sketching, and better integration into Maya's workspace. But there is no vector editing, no effects system, and no advanced deformation or compositing. Blender's Grease Pencil, on the other hand, is a completely different tool. What began as a simple annotation tool in the early Blender versions evolved over time into a complete 2D animation system. The transformation was gradual, but with major milestones, especially around version 2.8, during which it turned into something much bigger. Today, Grease Pencil in Blender allows you to create 2D animations that exist directly in the 3D viewport. Strokes are made of editable geometry, meaning they can be sculpted, animated, lit, and even rigged. A grease pencil object in Blender is treated like any other object in the scene. You can move it in the 3D space, parent it to bones, attach modifiers, and render it with lighting and shaders. This tool gives you as an artist flexibility in how you can approach animation. You can create traditional 2D animations while maintaining 3D depth making it ideal for things like 2.5D effects, in addition to animated cutscenes, or stylized animation where 2D characters interact with 3D environments. The differences in how each tool is used are immediately noticeable in the interface and workflow. Blue Pencil is built for simplicity. You open it, pick a brush, and sketch directly in the viewport. It works like a classic 2D join layer, timeline at the bottom, a few basic brushes, and layers for organizing ideas. It is fast, direct, and stays in the 2D space. You don't have to worry about setting up an object or navigating extra menus. This makes it ideal for quick planning, in addition to sketching poses, mapping out arcs, or making notes during animation reviews. But Grease Pencil in Blender goes even deeper. It is actually a 2D animation system that lives inside the 3D space. So instead of drawing directly in the viewport, you add a Grease Pencil object to your scene. This object becomes part of the 3D hierarchy. You can parent it to bones, place it in 3D space, or even have it follow cameras and geometry. The workflow is actually modular and layered. Draw mode lets you sketch freehand, but this is just the start. The edit mode gives you control over individual points and strokes. And sculpt mode allows you to shape and deform drawings. And with the weight paint, you can prep strokes or rigging, enabling puppet-style animations. Layers act like independent timelines. You can animate a background layer, and you can do that separately from character joints, and each have its own blend modes, in addition to onion skinning and modifiers. What really changes the experience is how tightly Grease Pencil connects to the rest of Blender. 
you can connect constraints, modifiers, shaders, and even drivers, making it behave more like a 3D native asset compared to a drawing overlay. So whether you are animating a 2D character, walking through a 3D environment, or designing dynamic UI elements inside a scene, the tool actually can scale from just sketching to full production. Animation is where the difference becomes more apparent. Blue Pencil in Maya offers basic animation capabilities. You can draw across multiple frames, flip through them, and make quick timing adjustments on a simple timeline. While this is useful for rough planning and timing, it is limited when it comes to full-scale production. There is no interpolation system, no complex onion skinning, and limited ways to manipulate or reuse drawings once created. It is great for planning out scenes, but it is not meant for high-level animation work. Grease Pencil, on the other hand, is a full animation system. Strokes are through the editable geometry. You can animate them using keyframes, interpolation, or even rigging. You can tween between poses, apply modifiers, and combine hand-drawn and puppet-style animation in the same project. And each layer has its own timeline. In addition, audio skinning is fully customizable, and you can use Blender standard animation editors, in addition to the Dope Sheet, Graph Editor, and NLA, to manage Grease Pencil scenes alongside 3D elements. And the good thing, it is tightly integrated into Blender's system, letting you animate characters, sync to camera moves, and combine 2D drawings with lighting or effects directly in the same environment. The core differences between these two tools are reflected in how artists use them. Blue Pencil is best suited for storyboarding and planning. It is great for animators who need to visualize arcs, mark up scenes, or leave notes during feedback sessions. It doesn't actually try to do more than that, keeping the process fast and efficient. Its role in production is mostly for pre-visualization, helping teams communicate ideas quickly. The Grease Pencil, by contrast, opens up a much wider range of creative possibilities. It is used not only for sketching and annotating, but for full scene creation. You will find it in 2D animation shorts, anime-style sequences, hybrid 2D and 3D films, in addition to stylized cinematic cutscenes and concept art pipelines. Artists often use it to animate entire characters, also composite effects or draw environment elements that blend with 3D geometry, and in some cases, it replaces traditional 2D animation software entirely, especially when teams want to keep everything inside Blender. And because Grease Pencil exists in the 3D space, you can animate a character, turn it around the scene, mash 2D elements to 3D camera motion, or add line work to a sculpted model, which looks actually great. It is especially valuable for stylized visual development, where artists combine cel-shaded 3D characters with hand-drawn outlines, or maybe texture overlays or animated effects like smoke, sparks, or wind lines. This level of integration is hard to replicate outside of Blender without exporting assets across multiple programs, which shows how powerful this is. Its usability also extends to pre-visualization and design integration. Some artists use it to sketch out scenes directly on 3D assets, refining composition or movement with quick drawing before committing to final models or animations. Other use cases involve animated breakdowns or effects or to do cleanup work on rendered sequences, in addition to layering frame-by-frame -frame embellishments like facial expressions, outlines, or stylized motion blur. When it comes to performance, both tools are generally light and responsive. Blue Pencil doesn't interact much with Maya's deeper systems, which helps it stay fast, even in complex scenes. It is stable, efficient, and works well for quick sketching or markup, even heavy animation files. Grease Pencil is also smooth in most cases, though performance can vary depending on the hardware and the complexity of the scene. Large scenes with high-res strokes, or maybe multiple layers or heavy modifiers may cause some slowdowns, but this is the exception, not the rule. It's also worth noting that Blender lets you mix Grease Pencil with other 3D tools, like simulations, shaders, compositing, and so on. And you can start with a line drawing, and end up with a layered, lit, animated shot without switching software, 
which is just incredible. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.